Good morning. Um, welcome to episode 12 of 52 Weeks of Awesome. And today I'm starting in my kitchen. And the reason for that is I thought I'd do something a little bit different. And I'm going to go and take my push bike out for a ride and give you a bit of a tour of my hometown of Blanford. Don't turn off straight away. Hopefully it's not going to be as boring as it sounds. There's a few interesting places in Blanford that are worth checking out. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go. Okay, so the first place I wanted to show you was the Badger Roundabout. Because these badgers have got quite famous in Blanford because we've got a mystery badger dresser called Badger Banksy who dresses these up at certain occasions like Wimbledon, the Steam Fair, uh, Christmas. What I'll do is I'll post some photos in the video of some of the outfits they've been seen in over the years, all taken by me. So yeah, so that's uh, our first stop, Badger Roundabout. Something a bit different. Uh, let's head on to the next destination. Okay, for our second stop on the tour, we have got the old railway arches in Blanford. And although it doesn't look very scenic at the moment, this is a stunning spot for some photography when you've got the right conditions. And I'm going to drop one of those photos in now so you can have a look. But definitely well worth a visit. This is the weir at the back of Blanford Brewery and this is quite famous for the otters that live here. Unfortunately I can't see any knocking about this morning. Wouldn't it be good if one of them poked their head up right now? But yeah, great place to come if you're into wildlife. You might get lucky. Normally the best time is first thing in the morning. This is the location of one of my favourite photographs that I've ever taken and I'm going to post that now. It was a really frosty morning. I just got, just started getting into photography and I just got so lucky with the conditions and the sky and oh yeah, awesome morning, awesome shot.
This is the bridge that crosses the Stour into Blanford. Looking quite cool this morning with the uh, reflection in the water. Okay, so that was a few of my favourite places in Blanford. I'm now going to take you up one of my favourite places to cycle, and that is up through Bryanston School. This is another one of my favourite spots in Blanford. It's the weir at the back of Blanford School, kind of between Blanford School and Bryanston School. I must have lived in Blanford for about 20 years before I found this. Yeah, pretty awesome spot. We got a couple of swans hanging out this morning. The one at the bottom, oh here he goes, here he goes. Oh. This is always one of my favourite parts about this ride is down the back of Bryanston School Grounds down by the River Stour. I know I'm going to sound old and boring but it's just always so tranquil, peaceful, all you've got is the sound of the birds, hardly anyone ever down here. Occasionally depending on what time you come down you've got a couple of rowers from the school going down the river. But yeah, really, really lovely place to ride the bike. So we're just out the other side of Bryanston School now, we're in a village called De Weston and I just wanted to show you De Weston Mill, it's quite a nice place to come in the summer, it's a shame it's a bit grey and overcast this morning.
So I've been through Blanford, through Bryanston School, cut across to De Weston, and through Stourpane, now across to Shillingstone, and I'm planning on making my way back through Blanford Forest. But to get there, we've got a rather steep incline. Well, actually, that didn't take quite as long as I was expecting, but it did take it out of the lungs and the legs. But it only took about five minutes to get up there. Luckily, the next part is downhill, so you've got 10 minutes of pain for about two minutes of fun and excitement. So this is my last stop on the way home. This is the church at Bryanston School. I always thought it makes quite a good photography subject because they always keep the lawn out the front so well manicured. So I quite often stop here. That's the route that I took on the way through, down by the river, if you can see that down the bottom. Now, I could be imagining this, but I'm sure I saw someone post on Facebook once that there is a hidden tunnel in this field somewhere. But I have never been able to find it. So, if you know where that is, feel free to post in the comments because I'd love to go and take a look one day, go and explore. If it's open, I doubt it is. I'd imagine it must be covered wherever it is to save uh, people falling down the hole. But yeah, let me know if you know. So that's it for episode 12, 52 Weeks of Awesome. A bit of a tour around my local area. Hope that was at least a little bit enjoyable. Showed you where I live. And I will see you on the next video. As usual, thanks for watching. <laughs>